No mai, haere mai, kia ora. I'm Carl, and welcome to the Emerging Futures Summit. Kia ora, my name's Tim, and we're your hosts. Uh, we're going to be with you over the next 10 days, taking you through the summit. Um, it's really exciting. Uh, this has been uh, quite a lot of time in the works for us, and uh, we've been eagerly anticipating it. Uh, so today's video is really just intended to help bring all of you together and get a real clear sense of what are we doing and where are we going next. Uh, just remember, we've got the webinars, expert panels coming up in the next three days. Uh, we are actually in Christchurch, New Zealand, Otatahi. It's just coming into the evening here, so we're slightly ahead of yeah. the rest of the world. We're in the future. Time, so. We will Pretty always much. be ahead of all of you. So <laughs> we can an anticipate any problems you have, we are on it. So yeah, we are going to take you through it and let's remind ourselves of what the summit is all about. Cal, do you want to switch screens? So again, we're here to solve some of the world's biggest challenges. I think you use the word wicked, wicked challenges. Problems. Wicked, yes. wicked problems. Is that. So um, there's a big problems that cannot be solved by any one mind. They need multiple people from diverse backgrounds with different perspectives. And that's why we pull these teams together. Um, and it's all about, that's your role, is to work with these people that you have um, teamed up with to solve these problems and actually discover exactly what the problem you're trying to solve is. So this is not easy, as you probably uh, have got a, a sense for. So uh, as well as Carl and myself, uh, we've got a group of mentors that are going to be guiding you through the process. So we have... Manish from India. And Elisa, she's from Indonesia. But Diana from Australia. Now residing in Christchurch. And um, Dan, who's from uh, China. And Adriana. Adriana. Look at that. We're, we're, we're doubling up. <laughs> Adriana <laughs> from, from Colombia. So we're all going to be here uh, helping you, as we said, through the process. And what is that process? Uh, let's have a quick look. So here's our journey ahead. So basically, we're current currently in this uh, orientation phase, and this is really a moment for you to get to know your team. You'll notice that when you signed into the Trello board, there's a few questions there on um, your favorite food, and it's a chance for you to introdu introduce yourself to your team members. Let's flick over to that Trello board and just get people familiar. There's a bit of a lag, uh, but that is the way that it is. So this is the Trello board, and you can see here we've got a few people that have jumped in and shared their favorite food. Uh, and you've got a, as Carl said, and, and we'll keep reiterating this over the course of the summit, is the importance of embracing that diversity and creating that diverse and supportive team. That's right. Uh, so during your journey, you will um, also be looking at the problem that we're trying to solve. So this will kind of kick in over the course of the um, expert panels, which start on Tuesday. They start tomorrow night, New Zealand time at 4 p.m. Um, and that's an opportunity for you to listen to some um, of the leading minds in uh, our topics of discussion. And because it's going to be broadcasted uh, live to air via YouTube, you'll also be able to directly ask them questions um, and there'll be time in each panel to answer those questions. So this is an ideal opportunity for you to, to really dig deep into the into finding out where the problem might be that you, your team's going to solve. That's right. So um, as you're doing that, you'll probably find that you'll end up having some discussions, uh, not only with the experts, but within your teams, but also just generally in, in the, the Slack channel. And, and right. Slack is where all the kind of the chit chat uh, yeah. is gonna go, go on. We also have Google communities for posting uh, various bits and pieces like articles that you find. That's right, it's great. We've already seen a number of people jumping in there now doing that, so that's great to see. And remember, we're all in different time zones. So um, in the Slack messaging system, you can just leave a note for someone that might pick up the conversation a bit later on. If things move ahead, um, let your team know what you're doing in Slack and, and um, refer them back to the Trello board or um, let them know if there's any other platforms. These platforms we've set up for you. There's nothing stopping you for, um, for, for your team to go ahead and set up more appropriate channels or platforms to get the job done. Right, so we're going to be 
on Friday, moving into this this phase of the the global challenge uh, work, where really you by this stage you will have a sense because throughout the expert panels, I'm going to be constantly asking that question of our experts. So, how does this big gnarly problem? Uh, how can that apply to our participants? I.e., that to you. Uh, and how do you start to think about breaking a local problem down? And uh, we've got one here as an example. So this uh, is an example of a, a local problem. So if we're thinking about the waste streams issue, which is um, a big global problem. This is one that we've defined. In fact, this is one that I just discovered on the weekend as I was at a festival, absolutely horrified at the behaviour of people at festivals when it comes to waste. It's a pretty um, frightening picture, Carl. Well, that's Glastonbury, and that's one of the um, one of the worst. And these festivals happen around the world, but really what they are is a kind of a microcosm of um, what happens uh, in society. Um, so this is our idea here, is really just reframing the problem to something local and something that we can potentially start to dive deep, deeper into and come up with. What What is this big idea that could... Um, change behavior in this particular circumstance or uh, move people from um, being a, um, a, a bystander into someone who's active. So they're really, um, it could be anything. These, these wicked problems just open up the, uh, the, the window to a number of different things that you, can, um, that you can solve, a number of different problems you can solve. Right, so that, the way we do that is we, you, you will have seen how that question was phrased of how might we actually solve this problem uh, that we we will start defining and again you'll be doing that in teams we'll be here to help as will the mentors when we're starting to work through this idea of, hey I, I see this problem in my local community potentially it's about you know local uh, local business people need some support to raise some money you know when we're thinking about social social change how do we make access to capital access to education as some examples in the social change space uh, resilient energy so you know if, if energy is expensive around you uh, you know what are some alternative ways to to get that energy so again businesses or uh, home uh, homeowners have got the energy they need to be able to get on with their lives so these problems will start to get picked up and that, again, those three key words, how might we, mm. it's a really important kind of three words that, again, will keep being brought up through the expert panel. Uh, we will be asking them a lot of questions yeah. as well. So it's all yeah. about asking questions up until this, um, this next, the next phase, which we'll go into a bit further into the, um, into the festival as that um, unfolds. So should we move on to the, on to the next slide? Absolutely. So what the summit is, um, I guess, again, for, for a lot of you, you may not have uh, done this before, uh, or maybe you have, but this is slightly different from your classic online uh, learning platform. So you will be challenged, you'll be inspired, uh, you'll have to persevere, you'll need to ask for help, uh, not only from us, uh, the experts, but most importantly, your team. Um, that leads us to, you'll have to work together and embrace that diversity, in fact, what you'll come to realize is that, that the diversity within your teams are actually your core strength. Yeah, um, and again, you know, you're going to have to do some work. So this is not just tune into some uh, expert panels, kind of listen and walk away with a participating uh, certificate and badge at the end. You're actually going to have to do some work. And we really encourage you to stick around for that because, again, you might surprise yourself. That's right. The more you put into it, the more you'll get out of it. Uh, so, in, and when we talk about work, we, we see it happening in small bursts. Remember, you've got um, your team to work with. You might decide to divvy up roles or take on roles and responsibilities during the program. Um, so, it's entirely up to you. We're, we're here to really help smooth things over and point you in the right direction when and, and, and sort of unblock things as you go. So some of the keys to success, uh, you will have hopefully picked up that my workspace, which is on the emergingfutures.co.nz website, where you signed up. Uh, there's a big button there that used to have register on it that now says my workspace. 
And that's where you will find all the resources you need uh, to essentially build your pathway of learning over the next 10 days. So we're going to be actively updating that uh, and we'll be pushing through Slack uh, when that's been updated with important resources for you. So, Carl, you've already mentioned be resourceful. Be resourceful. For if you decide um, for the best way to start to really have a conversation and, and dig into a, a, a serious problem is to get onto Hangouts. We're, we're using Hangouts a lot here or even um, any other video conference. Skype, programs. WeChat. What else we got? You name it. Yeah. I'm trying to think. For, I've got uh, a Telegram. Telegram. That's no, we've all, got, they've all got video conferencing facilities now. Um, Facebook Messenger. That's right. Text message. Just use those videos, um, the video conferencing platforms as much as you, as you can to um, self-organize, um, ask questions of each other, and just get to know each other. There's not many festivals around the world that you can get to meet so many um, incredible uh, people from um, so many different countries. And all of our updates are going to be over video because, again, you get to learn about us and it's a little bit more personal um you know, and again we're here to help i think that's the most mm. important thing it's, it's the big difference between this festival of learning and, and others you might have been involved in uh, we're here to actually help guide you through that process and make sure uh, you come out successfully uh, so some of our expectations uh, it's really important that you're curious because curiosity means an open mind uh, be kind to each other. That should go without saying. But again, um, you know, really embrace each other and enjoy the the, the differences that uh, are in your team and within the wider uh, festival community. Uh, be committed. Be committed. Yeah. If you're going to say you're going to be there, try and try and make it, or at least communicate um, if you can't. Um, and I think the overarching thing is for this 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 whole summit is just to have fun as well. Really um, embrace embrace the differences we have um, across the teams. Um, look, whether whether you come out out with a, an amazing idea or it all falls apart or whatever, as so long as you keep a good attitude and, and uh, um, having a good time during it, um, I'm sure you'll come out on top. Cool. Okay. Um, we're we're making good progress, Carl. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is amazing. Um, so a little bit more about uh, my workspace. So again links to webinars, links to your tools, links to problem solving resources. Uh, you're gonna find everything on my workspace. Uh, so a little bit about getting set up. And again, we apologize for those of you that are already there, uh, but we've provided a set of mm, tools. Set of tools. So we've provided Slack and Trello for starters to, to get you started um, because Organising yourself across time zones, across uh, cultures, um, across language barriers is going to be part of the challenge of the um, of the whole festival. So what we've done is we've offered up a few platforms initially, which are universal platforms. It's not like a learning management system. It's um, these are platforms that you can go on and use, and they're free, the right? They're all free. Everything we're using um, is. Um, either free or low cost, and they're becoming the, the tools that you need to use to collaborate across um, across time zones and uh, across various teams. So Slack's your place to chat, to let people know where you do, uh, what you're doing, um, if you've got any new ideas, or um, you just want to dig in. And How do we use it, mate? We, we use it like text, right? We have a conversation. So right. it's, it's no different from uh, WeChat, uh, from WhatsApp, from Facebook Messenger. It's just this will be your place where you come and do Merge and Future Summit work. Uh, and that's where the conversation will be had. You're in your teams. You've got access to us, the mentors. Uh, it's, again, it's us trying to be in the same digital room, or virtual mm. room, uh, because... Not all of us can make it to New Zealand or not all of us can make it to where you are. Uh, we also have the Google community. So now that's gonna be the basically the knowledge base. Um, you will notice that there's a number of great articles in there. And as we progress through the uh, challenges, we will um, have, there'll be points along the way where we want you to share your insights um, as well as where you're going with your, um, your problems. So, at the point that you define your how might we statement, we're going to ask you all to share what that how might we statement is and get feedback from the whole community. And this is not just people doing the challenges, it's also 
people from the wider community uh, watching. We've got 1,200 people invited to watch uh, the webinar series, and there's a whole lot of other people um, involved in signing up to the Google community um, as well. So there'll be a lot of exposure there for you to get, to crowdsource your um, feedback and get peer review. Ask questions, uh, post things, just be, again, positive, be kind, be embracing. Uh, we really want to make sure that everyone is here pushing forward because, again, these problems uh, aren't going to be solved uh, without the big community getting behind them. The next um, platform we're going to be using is Trello. Um, Trello, you will have already, a lot of you would have already logged in and checked that out. It's, we've preloaded that with a number of um, questions for you to get started. It also follows the same um, process as my journey, the, the diagram we showed you, you earlier. And in here, your, you and your mentors will work together to, to organize your thoughts, really. You can move things around in here. You can start to um, rate things or, um, or highlight things as being important, um, move them up the scale, add, you can add new lists, create new lists to do some decision making in it's this really space. a workspace right like this is where you will kind of organize yourself yes, it's, it's your virtual whiteboard yep. and, and post-it note board so um you can get into using that as as the uh as the summit moves forward we've talked about video conferencing but let's have a look at what's going to happen over the next um the next three days if you go into the emerging futures website uh there is a timetable there that uh, runs us through the, the 10 days of the summit. So firstly, on Tuesday, we've got um, a panel on space, the modern day space race. I'm really excited about this one. I'm excited fact, about all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Every single time we talk to our experts, I say at the end, and I'm really excited about this. This but, is one's my favorite. Yeah, this is, but they're all gonna be fantastic. So make sure, note the times. Uh, they will be available uh, for you to watch afterwards, but if you don't tune in live, right. uh, you're not gonna have a chance to ask questions from our experts during the course of the, uh, the, the panel itself. And you might be surprised what panels are relevant. You, you could be working on something that's very much about a social um, problem, but um, the sustainable design panel may have some answers to that. What some of you have been asking about is, uh, what challenges the each of the each of the panels uh, relate to relate to? And so we jump into the challenges um, page there, Tim. You'll find that uh, it's just underneath ah, the um, the challenges page. I went to the wrong place. Yeah. So we've got challenges and we've got panels. The panels are yep. there to support you um, to solve these challenges. So um, just under there, you can see uh, with so base. These are our individual panels. Is that right, Carl? Yeah. Have I got so that right? They're, they're roughly, um, in terms of relevance, the most relevant panels. If you're working on this particular uh, challenge. Human survival. The human survival challenge, then we would encourage you to, to watch those three panels. Um, we'd actually encourage you to watch all the panels because I think you'll get a lot out of those. But have a look at the, um, the challenges and, and just... Um, so there they are again. This one's about waste stream, so sustainable design, absolutely. You can't take, um, you've got to reuse your um, materials in space. And plus there's a whole lot of social challenges around mm. waste as, as per our festival's um, problem that we are. I, I think what Carl says though is there will be something in every single panel uh, discussion that is relevant to solving one of the five challenges. So uh, we highly encourage you to tune in to all of them. That's right. And I think we're almost there, aren't we, with our, our we introduction are. to the Emerging Futures Summit. Uh, we are here. We are here online, usually through office hours in New Zealand time. Um, and we've got five other mentors also um, watching the channel. But um, let's have a look at the next, next three days. Next three days. So again, panel discussions. Hopefully we've repeated ourselves enough for that <laughs> to be burned into your minds. Yes. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Again, check back on the website for times. Set Note. up uh, reminders on YouTube. You can better. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, but also 
just note that the times are in New Zealand time. And what are we? We're 12, 13, 13 at the moment. 13 hours ahead of the Greenwich Mean Time. Uh, so just check in and make sure you don't miss them, uh, but they will be available afterwards uh, for you to watch on the YouTube channel. Um, so continue to introduce yourself. Get Make sure you get set up on each of the channels. Uh, that is Slack, Trello, and Google Communities. Uh, if you haven't received invites yet, they'll be coming through in the next 24 hours. And if you've had problems with um, getting on, on online or onto any of those channels, then um, there is a, a support uh, link on my workspace that you can click and just send us an email and we'll come uh, to the rescue. Wow. How's to the happen? rescue. Yeah. Fantastic. We want you to succeed. All right, fantastic. Well, this has been great. Uh, you'll be hearing from us again over, as we said, the next 10 days. Uh, you'll see me tomorrow uh, at the Space Challenge uh, panel discussion. And uh, um, yeah, I'm really excited. Same. It's going to be a great week. Fantastic. All right, we'll see you soon. Kia ora. Kia ora.